All right, it's time. All rise and shout. Let's get to what's trending. And to kick off what's trending, it is the head football coach at BYU, Kalani Satake, in Studio B. Coach, thanks for being with us to kick off this two-hour Alumni Day special of BYUSN. What a great lineup. I can't, I can't believe you guys have time for me to, to kick it off. We, we, <laughs> we even have time for Dennis today, Coach. Let's so go. We, we got a lot of time. Um, Fridays were like Letterman jacket day in high school. You got a, like a Letterman yeah. jacket look today. Yeah. I like it, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I just flash back to the oldies, I guess. You know, I did, <laughs> couldn't afford a Letterman's jacket back in the day, so <laughs> I'm going to sport it as much as I can now. <laughs> hey, that makes a few of us, but we're glad to have you here and super excited, obviously, about uh, the day and what your team's going to get to do today. Not just scrimmaging and, and playing in front of the fans, but the interaction as all of these great alumni come back to Lavelle Edwards Stadium. Overall, what are you hoping to accomplish for your team today by hosting these events back to back? Well, I think you said it right there is a connection with the fans. Uh, I, I want our fans to see our players and, and you know, we, we know this is going to be televised and so we're trying to keep it simple as much as possible. But it's the uh, it's the interaction with the fans and them being able to see the newcomers and seeing the, uh, the you know, the, the guys that are returning, see how much they progressed over the off season. And uh, I think, you know, we're really excited about the team. We're excited about a bunch of individual players and the depth that we have on our, in our program. And so we're looking forward to seeing them perform today and, and doing more of a practice. We'll have, we'll have some live work too, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, mostly thud with the, uh, with the ones. But we'll see some scrimmaging and, and uh, some practice mixed in there in the, in the, in the two-hour practice. Certainly people are excited about Keaton Slovis. You're going to get a chance to watch him today during the scrimmage. Uh, how has he taken to BYU and this offense and this team so far in spring? Yeah, it, it's, it's like he's been here for a long time. I mean, it, it's been really comfortable in, in so many ways on the football field, in the classroom, um, understanding the scheme and, and his, his interaction with the players, but also his connection with, with the staff. You know, it's, it's amazing. And uh, he, I think that, that, that has a lot to say about his leadership and his ability to connect with people. And so I'm excited for our fans to get to meet him and talk to him and interact with him. Well, uh, you know, after we're done with our, our practice, um, but I, I think they're going to really like him and, 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 and be drawn to him. And I think they'll, they'll like the stuff that he does on the football field as well. Little, may, yeah. little did we know in 2019. This would be the quarterback. Why? Yeah. A couple of years. He makes the fun comment. Provo was weird. They were super nice. It was like an endearing uh, comment. And then he, th this dude cares about chemistry, as you mentioned, because he's, he's going to church with Chase Roberts. He's interacting with all the guys. And it's pretty gnarly that you say that because he's only been here three months, but it feels like he's been the guy here for four years. Yeah. And how, I, how does that happen? Well, I, th I think it's just his willingness to, to learn about our culture. Uh, and, and also about the gospel, about our church, you know. And, and this is a young man that that's, uh, wants to understand what his teammates have done and wants to understand why we have. he has guys that, that are teammates of his that have served missions and took two years out of their life to go out there and serve the Lord. And, and uh, so he, he takes the initiative by going out there and trying to understand a little bit more about it. And um, that, that's the same approach he has to the game of football. And I think he's really taking to, to A-Rod's coaching and the scheme that we have in place. And... I think he can flourish in it. Now, I don't know what's going to happen today because our defense is doing doing some wonderful things too. And I know we play we, we, we play at BYU, so the quarterback gets a lot of the attention. But uh, defense has had some battles and, so, and won some battles in, in camp. And, and I'm looking forward to today, see what happens. It'll be a first time on grass, and so we're excited to get back in the stadium. Let's hope it's dry grass, okay? <laughs> probably <laughs> not, uh, but, but we'll be there. Something. And that's part of the deal. Is you're going to play out with West Virginia in November. You yeah. might have these conditions. It's yeah, we'll, we'll take it. it. I mean, it, it's football. So, you know, yeah. other than lightning, uh, you really don't don't postpone the games yeah. for any reason. So, uh, our grounds crew at the stadium are awesome. They'll, they'll be able to get the field back in, in shape for Stadium of Fire and then for our season. So, we'll be okay. Sure. <laughs> BYU head football coach Kalani Satake is with us on BYU Sports Nation. It is spring scrimmage day. It's alumni day. And we're going to stay focused on the spring and your current team right now. And you may have already answered part of this question uh, with Keaton Slovis and his surprising transition into his role at BYU. It's happened so quickly. But what else has surprised you with this team during your spring scrimmage or your spring practices, I should say? Well, the amount of leadership that we're seeing from the team. And, and um, you know, we went through some adversity last year and, and during the season. And, and I think we, we ended it on, on a strong note. Um, and, and we've had some attrition in the program, but uh, the guys that are here that want to be here uh, for the right reasons and for uh, the reasons of representing our, our church and our school and, 
and their families on the field and off the field. And so uh, you can see there's a, a group of young men that are just taking to what we want to accomplish this season and, and, uh, and, and so many things other than just football. But I think it all, it all has factors and all plays into them being able to perform at their best. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I thought this spring we'd have some really good things and be, see some guys that make a huge improvement compared to when, when we had bowl prep and had those practices and, and uh, it's exactly what I thought. I, I can see the, the transition, I can see the progress and, uh, and the leadership and everybody just taking to it. I, I think Keaton came in at the right time with the right, with the right uh, mesh of, of our players and connection with our players and the mix of our guys and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've had some great competition. Uh, our, our guys improve their football IQ and in understanding the situation that we want and definitely know the expectations of our fans and, and they're excited about this Big 12 conference. When the transfer portal opens up uh, May 15th through the 30th, how aggressive do you plan on being to add to your team for this fall? Well, the, the aggressive part is mostly the, the, the players that want to come here. And so we get a lot of attention from players that enter the portal. They call us and they want to be here. We turn down way more than we, than we sign. And uh, they want to be here. They understand that we have something special here, and they want to be a part of it. And, and that's, um, uh, you know, that, that's a that's a huge compliment to everything that we have going on in, in the program, in athletics, and as a university. And uh, the one thing that we try to highlight the most is our fan base. That we have an incredible fan base, and and the interaction that you can have with them, and, and, and not just in here in Provo, but throughout the world. You know, and that's something that everybody's interested in our brand. And uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll peek into it and see what. Uh, what can uh, you know? It's a fit. See who can fit our program, and then um, and what they can bring to us on and off the field, and if they're in align alignment of what we were trying to accomplish as the mission of our program. Kalani Satake is on BYU Sports Nation, and it's year two of the alumni game. It's going to be tough to top how last year's game Incredible. finished with Brian Keel catching a hail mary essentially at the buzzer, but it's bigger than just the catch yeah. or the play it's don't about tell that to brian the brotherhood yeah sure right <laughs> might never hear the end of it but it, it's it's clearly about the brotherhood so what have you seen go into this event and and the growth involved from mm -hmm. last year to this year i think it's going to be my message when i speak to the alumni and i speak to the players that are playing in the game and those that that aren't and 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 that's just a call for them to be involved and, and to get uh, get connected to our program. I, I think it's, sometimes it's, it's uh, an awkward moment when you're graduated. You think about high school. Like, what do you do? How much do you interact when you go back? And I think it's important that I define it for them and I let them know that this is home and, and they're always welcome. And not only that, but I need them. I need them to be, be involved with our program. And I mean, it's a unique fraternity in the world belonging to this football team and, and this program. <clears throat> and it's regard, regardless of who you played for, you know, we. There's some things that we understand. I think they could be great mentors to the young men on our team. And so I'm going to need their help. And it, it doesn't matter if you play for Lavelle, you know, Croton, Bronco, or myself. We're, we're all one family. And I'm looking forward to, to having them be involved with our program, especially going into the uncharted territory of, of the Big 12. And then it's uh, a big day for recruiting as well. It's junior day mm -hmm. uh, and junior kind of weekend. That's, that's a big deal for you guys. Yeah, I mean, that, and that's the thing. We, we want our recruits to see... Um, everything that that's wonderful about this this place, and that's the fans, the the players are currently on our team, the alumni, and, and everyone that's involved with with our football program. So, um, you know, if it's all on me, then I'm in trouble. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I think I think when we get everybody together, it'd be they can see that that this is the right place for them, and I think they can see themselves playing football here and also transitioning and becoming an old timer and one day playing in the alumni game. Any gritties from you today, Coach? I don't know. I'm about to retire that thing. I think, <laughs> I think my Achilles is about to pop any second now. And I'm trying to be very selective with how much uh, celebration. More upper body, cabbage patch, stuff like that. Yes. Okay. Know? Now, now yeah. for those who missed it, in 2019, you like sprained your ankle because someone's headset was on the sideline yeah. with the Micah Simon mm -hmm. thing. Is that the sideline injury that's been the worst for you at this point? That, that is. And I tried to find out whose headphones it was. No <laughs> Did one, you? No one would confess to Conveniently, it. nobody yeah. remembered who was oh, headphones. It was just a know. mysterious, maybe Tennessee <laughs> yeah. threw theirs across the field. Yeah, and wait a minute. I, I tripped on it, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, I hope it wasn't mine. You, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it, was, it was yours. It was my own headset. You danced in the locker room after that. You were running on I the did, yeah. I, I had to. Yeah, and then it hurt on the plane, but I'm all right. Yeah, oh, good. It's no Ed Lamb passing a kidney stone at Wisconsin on the <laughs> yeah. side. Wow. Like, that's the all-time 
sideline injury. That's right. Hey, Jeez. Coach, we appreciate you helping us kick off this two-hour special. Uh, looking forward to a fantastic day of BYU football. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Go Cougs. We got to get this jacket, man. That's nice. It's only in 4X. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can wear it for uh, pajamas, I guess. Uh,